back to my channel so today i wanted to make a cute little photo frame and i want to try pyrography i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing it right but i've got one of these burning tools it's like a soldering iron and you can put it warmer colder whatever uh, i've got a fine tip on it and this is the frame i want to be using it's just a really simple thing put the little wooden stick in here and then it should stand up and i got this at a craft store in germany it was just one euro fifty so it's not that expensive they show painting on it but i thought burning it would work not sure we're gonna just gonna try and the design i made is a combination of a little uh, quote with some dandelions and for me i'm gonna explain later why i chose to do this design but first we're going to need to transfer this onto here and i'm going to use my little light board and then i'm just going to trace all the lines on the back with a soft pencil so this is a b6 i've had these for ages i think you can see 2007 barely used uh, and i still use them quite often but this is a soft pencil and i'm just going to trace um, all the lines and the reason why i'm doing this is because i want to transfer my design to the wood and i'm using the graphite as a transfer medium and this light board is really handy because as you can see i can see through it uh, you can also just put your paper against the window that will work absolutely perfectly fine but for me it's easier to not have my hands up against the window the whole time but just flat so i'll just be tracing my design and i'll see you in a bit so i traced all the lines on the back and now i'm just going to run over these lines with a ballpoint pen i am applying quite a bit of pressure just so the graphite will transfer to the wood i did stick it down so it doesn't move i'll be doing this for a little bit and then i think it's time to heat up my little tool and see if it's actually gonna work so I traced all the lines and it transferred pretty good. There are a couple of little things I might want to touch up. So I think that was it. And the tool's already getting quite hot. Make sure you do this in a well-ventilated room and wearing a mask would be even better. You can see the tip is turning a little bit of a different color. So it is fairly hot. And I think I want to try and burn this part first. I'm just going to run it over here. So I'm not pushing, I'm just rubbing it over it. And you can see it is starting to burn. I don't think it's quite hot enough. So I might even have to turn it up a little bit. You have different kinds of tips for these. This is just the cheapest one I could find. I think it was about 10 euros. I would have liked to have one that has a shorter tip. You would have a little bit more of a control. Now it's actually quite hard not to shake and make shaky lines. And for the lines, I think I'm going to just pull and make it the straightest. I'm just going to first do the whole dandelion because the letters are going to take a lot more concentration. I'm going to tell you why I decided to do the dandelion. In the Netherlands, you call it a paardenbloem. So translated, it's a horse flower. And the little quote that's on here talks about friendship. And for me, that friendship is with my horse. So I thought it would be appropriate to do a horse flower. And then the second reason is because I always grew up blowing on the little dandelions and making the fuzz fly. Because if you blow them and all of the little fuzz comes out in one go, you can make a wish. So yeah, I thought it would be a pretty nice meaning behind simple design. So I'll finish the dandelion. I'm just going to let this one cool because it's getting quite hot and I don't want to burn my hands and I don't want to damage the product. So I did the whole dandelion and I think it came out pretty nice. I really love the texture. So I'm probably going to leave it till tomorrow and then finish off the text. And I'm not sure, but I think I want to do a light brown stain over the whole piece. But I'll just have a sleep on it and I'll get back to it tomorrow. So it's the next day and I want to try and do the letters. I'm not sure if it's going to work. I've been heating up my tool. What I've learned from doing the flower is that you really need to try and move at a steady pace. But because I'm so shaky, it's really hard not to stop. I'm even holding my breath trying to do this because I really don't want to mess it up. It's not going to be perfect. I think I want to do a little burning with my torch. Probably going to test it out on the back side but I think it needs a little bit more color and then most likely I'm going to put a wash over it. Some brown. I think that will look nice. Probably boring you to death by now. So I'll see you when I'm done with this part because it's just going to be me trying to follow the lines and keep it from burning too deep. 
some parts of the wood are actually burning easier than others and I think it has to do with the grain being tighter in some areas so even though I'm trying to keep a really steady pressure and pace it's still really hard to get a uniform looking line in some areas as you can see this part is really really not burning nicely so it's nice 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 and then here it's like it's just different kind of wood but it's still the same so the last little piece of text I had to stop a couple of times because holding this thing really hurts my hands but it is very satisfying to see how it looks in the end so the burning on the front is all done I I think I've got a couple of little mistakes, so I might want to take a little bit of the sanding paper and try to... I think it makes it a little bit less obvious. So I want to test my little flamethrower out and I'm gonna try it on the back first just to see if I can get it to make a nice effect. So like this and then soften it up I think that would look nice on the front so let me just go for it it's looking a little bit patchy but I'm going to do a wash over it so I think it's going to look fine so I'm liking the burn I got but I want to do a cool toned wash over it so I'm going to try and do it with some paint and I'm going to start with some primary Cheyenne, then some Azo Orange, Permanent Green Deep. And I think it needs a little bit of Permanent Blue Violet. Then I'm going to add a little bit of water, maybe a little bit more. Let's see what we get. Okay, too much blue and green, because right now it's just blue. So I think it needs a lot more of the orange, but I want to keep it very cool toned. Okay, so now it's turning green. So that's not quite the color I was looking for. So I'm going to try some red. Now we're getting a little bit more brown gray. So let's test that. So that's more the color I was looking for actually. Let me think. Um, maybe a little bit more red and a little bit more water because I don't want it to be that dark. So we're basically just making like swamp water. Mix, mix, mix. See, now it's too red. Probably should have kept it at that color. Maybe a little bit of yellow. I'm liking it in my container. Let's see in the paper. Yes, I think that's better. It's subtle, but I think it's better. I'm just gonna go for it. Or you just want a really, really thin layer on here. Just want to break up that light, light color. It's just too yellowy for my taste. This just gives it that little bit of character I was looking for. See the difference between this part and this here? And it's just really, really watered down acrylics. Because this is untreated wood, so it's going to suck all that moisture into it. You don't want to overdo it. So let's leave that to dry. And then I think it's time for the final reveal. I really love how it came out. It looks like it's been through it, but I really like how it looks in this color. I'm just gonna pop up what it looked like before when we started. And I think this looks so much better. So what do you think? Even the lettering came out quite nice. And then the dandelion with the flyaways. And then I put this picture in it, but I think I need to find a better one. But this was the only one that had both my animals on it. But thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye everyone!